Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be going over some of the Fallout World camps that's been entered in on the Discord. I'm going to show you exactly where to enter them if you've got your own and stuff. Um, but yeah, we're going to be reacting to it. But some of them I haven't actually seen yet. That's why it's going to be a little bit different. Normally, I'd watch them all and then pick out the ones to watch type of thing. But I thought it would be quite fun if I did a little one where... I kind of did my initial reaction to some of these builds. Now, a couple of them I have seen, and some of them are absolutely amazing, so you will see them ones as well. But there will be a couple that I haven't seen fully and stuff, so I'm going to do a little reaction type of thing to them as well. See how it goes? I'm not sure. And also, like I did in yesterday's video, make sure, or Friday's video, depending on what day I put this video up, let me know what you think about the whole thing of, should we put Fallout Worlds in the top five camps each week? Let me know. Obviously, we do the showcase on a Friday. Should we include Fallout World builds as well? That's a question for you down in the comments. Now, if you enjoy, hit the like button. And of course, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's jump in and check out some awesome builds. All right, guys. So if you are not in the Discord, basically, this is the Fallout Discord that... Wait, well, my, my Discord, so to speak. And basically, this is it. So you've got all these chats here, the main chats and stuff. But as you come down, so if you want to get involved in any of these, basically, this is where you get involved. The camp submissions. We've got the weekly submissions, the monthly competition submissions, the monthly competition chats. That's if anyone has any questions about, they're talking there. And then just recently, I added in this one right here, which is the Fallout World submissions. And in here, we have some absolutely crazy stuff. Look at this. Uranium Fever, Khalil Smooth. We've got Cursed. Lots of different builds in here that we're going to be quickly going over. So let's dive straight in, starting off with Uranium Fever's build by uh, Bad Notions, I believe this one's by. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is the one by Bad Notions. I have actually had the pleasure of watching this one, and it is absolutely insane. So just, like, this is what Fallout Worlds has built us, like, in Gear of Us type of thing. I think it's actually built on top of the uh, floating, you know, that invisible thing up by Grafton, the bit where people do the floating camps. I think it's built on top of that, but look at that, man. The amount of roof pieces on there and stuff, the amount of time it took, how hard this would have been as well, jumping from piece to piece. It's not like... Minecraft where you can fly type of thing like that thing is just it's absolutely insane like bad notions is honestly bad notions in spider effect at the minute over on PlayStation the two of them are building some Extremely extremely good stuff. So hats off to these guys. This one is insane Obviously, this is bad notions. I'll do a little link in the description for everyone that I include but look at that just Absolutely phenomenal that one Damn <laughs> Always enjoy that one. Let's come to the next one Okay guys, so the next one on the list is by Khalil Smooth, who has built this pirate ship, and the video itself looks really good as well. The entire build, like, I actually did, I don't know if I watched the full videos, because I can't remember this bit, but I remember clicking on it, and, or did I just see the, the thumbnail? I don't know, but look at that, what has he done there? Hang on a minute, what, how has he done that bit there? Because it's kind of like the Mothman, uh, you know the dead Mothman thing you can put on the wall, it's kind of like that. But it isn't, so I'm not sure what he's actually done there. But if you look up here and stuff, how he's got like the bar bundle set there, and he's also got the contemporary, the log cabin contemporary bundle in between. That looks awesome. Like, you couldn't do that normally, uh, the way that he's actually done it. And up here as well, you couldn't do that normally. How he's made the actual seals out of curtains. It looks absolutely insane. He did do a build like this in shelters as well, which looked fantastic. But this one here, like, look, you can see the cannon uh, broadsider. End of the broadside is coming out the sides there. That looks absolutely brilliant. And you can open them up as well, by the way. They're windows, so that looks fantastic. Very nicely done, Khalil. Another person up there with, like, the best builders in the game. Like, it's insane. He's also got ladders down the side there as well, like you can see. That looks awesome. This build, wow. I wonder if he's decorated inside, though, if he used all the budget. Because there's a lot of bits and pieces that he's actually included on here. I don't know if I'm actually in the way. Shall I move this down? I don't know, that'll do. But yeah, as you can see, fantastic build. And it's like, I really do wonder, did did he inc did he do the inside? That's the that's the question of today, guys. That is the question. Let's have a little we've seen the outside now, it looks absolutely phenomenal, like the conduit work, the light and the shape of it and stuff. You couldn't like this is the one amazing thing about Fallout World that's been added in, it's kind of been overlooked. He's even got the conduit pole thing at the front there as well, that's quite cool. Um Oh, he has done the inside. Oh, damn. Jeez, I wasn't sure if the budget was going to let him. I know you can get up to like 150% budget, but uh, he's kept it nice and so you come down, it's just a nice little basement. He's got junk shoved in the corner behind there. He's got a little prison type thing, I think that was. 
and then over there he's also got the uh, the kind of not the headquarters the main bit the well, not a galley what the hell do you call it and the main bit that you would go into if you were the the captain of the ship and stuff the captain's office type of thing absolutely awesome um build with that one though. i love the outfit as well i wish i had that outfit god damn it uh never mind but awesome build with that one as well Khalil. do you want to have a quick look inside the main bit oh don't go up the top What's he done for the steering wheel? I oh, use the little cart thing. A lot of people use that cart for the steering wheel on um, ship builds and stuff like that. So very nicely done with that one. And I want to look inside the little galley thing. Not galley, whatever you call it. There you go. Come inside. It's just a nice little small office. Nice. Got the globe in there as well. Quite nice to decorate. Nice touch with the uh, ship bottle on the thing there. It's also got a little side door as well. Just like a private, private beer there. Oh, nice little idea there. I like that. Very well thought out, Khalil. Awesome job, man. All right, so next on the list we have Style of Thug. Style of Thug always does modern type of camps. I really like that pool, actually. That was really very, very good. It's got a bit of water in there as well, built to the water level. Um, but this is one that's over budget. I think it's 150% budget. Um, and it looks really good, to be fair. I really like the uh, different levels of the walls and stuff. How you've lined them up differently. You've got them ones down there with the yellowy, beigey cream colour. And it's got the little gap with the wood and stuff in there. That aquarium looks really good as well. I like that touch with the steel pillars. Like, one awesome thing about steel... Oh, wow, look at that. I haven't actually seen this video all the way through. So this looks fun. I love that. With that stone... Oh, wow, another wall as well. That looks fantastic. This is another location. Uh, in fact, can... You might be able to build here. I can't remember. I think, I think you might be able to build here. Um, but this is basically in the uh, the pond uh, uh, down the bottom of the Grafton Dam. You might not. I can't remember if you can build here or not. But that looks absolutely phenomenal. With all that water coming down. I think them few different places. That looks brilliant. I really like that. Um, it's very nice, open, clean build. Uh, I know a lot of people won't like this. That's a cool idea. Making the showers into a wardrobe. Um, and it's also put the bed, uh, made a bed out of a rug and a Chesterfield type of sofa and stuff. There you go, you should recognise the location now if you look in the distance and stuff. And as you look so up on the top of that hill, that's where Grafton Dam is. And behind as well, the water pipes are. That's how he's getting the water effect, you see now? Very nicely done. Awesome job, Style of Thug. Thanks for submitting and stuff, mate. It looks really good. Okay, so next on the list is Cobra Camps, who's built another tree and type of thing. He's done a few of these in the past, similar type of builds and stuff like that. But this one looks really good for the fact that he's built it with the extra budget. He's built it without the limitations in worlds. So he's been able to do stuff that he normally can't do. So with this one, he's like extended this tree and out, which I actually really love the color of and stuff there. How he's got the, the green going on there. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Got to be honest, Cobra, a lot of you have... Uh, videos for me just a little bit slow need speeding up a, a little bit type of thing there but that's just a personal preference for me and um, but it looks really good i love these uh, green walls i like that air uh, i don't know what you've actually oh that's a sign backwards man it's the what you get from daily ops i know what sign it is i know what, you, uh, what you've done there that looks really good though i like that uh, thing down the bottom i like the green uh was it the mothman uh wallpaper that you get that with i can't remember i think it is a nice idea with the uh, paintings behind the walls there and stuff as well very nicely done cover i like the look of this one as well uh yeah smashed it <laughs> i like the use of the mannequins and stuff down there as well good stuff okay so next on the list is tulip ruby who has made uh well not made but actually re-renovated morgantown now this one's quite a cool looking build i love the atmosphere that's been thrown in here the the orangey kind of misty vibe going on i really want like i've been dying for someone to do this like Back on Fallout 4, people used to do stuff like this in the settlement building, and people used to get crazy views and, like, do really well for themselves. Like, people's channels were made on this type of stuff. Like, I don't know how uh, Norrispawn made his channel and stuff, but I bet he did a lot of these videos. I think he did one at um, Sanctuary, I believe, where he built up Sanctuary and did awesome. That building there looks really good, by the way. I really like the look of that and the shape of it and stuff. The lighting looks fantastic as well. Um, but I've been dying for, since Fallout Worlds come out, someone to go around, one of the like top builders and do a series and you don't have to be a top builder, if you're a good builder, you do law friendly stuff, you go into these locations, build them up as if they've been took over by raiders and stuff, do like a little area of them, it'll be awesome, I really, really would enjoy it, a lot of people would as well, so nice little niche to get into there, nice early on if you can do it, 
Uh, I haven't seen many people. This is the only video I've actually seen of anyone take over a named location and properly do it up. So nice job with that, Ruby, really getting in there early and stuff. And um, for me, I prefer the more realistic, law friendly looking ones. Obviously, this one is a little bit different. It is law friendly in aspect, but how you've got this like huge fountain and stuff. Like for me, what I mean by law friendly is something that looks like Bethesda made it type of thing. Um, now inside of a lot of the building stuff I do like what you've done there it's really cool that you can actually build inside of these buildings and add the decoration in there I really like that like I haven't tried this myself yet I hardly had any time on my hands lately not gonna lie that's why I'm doing a video like in this type of thing where I just sit sit back relax have a little review of this stuff that I haven't seen yet and yeah just give an honest opinion on everything rather than kind of um, we're not the wrong way to use it but Kind of like going through, hand-picking the certain ones that I want to show off. Going through and giving my, not honest, honest was the wrong word, the initial, initial reaction. That's the bloody word I wanted. Um, but yeah, it looks really good now. Very nicely done, Ruby. I like the lighting and stuff. And I love these atmosphere. Like, that keeps using them as well. And they look really, really good. So nice job, guys. Enjoyed this one. Uh, yeah, it looks really good, Ruby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the next one up is Aqua Nova. Now, I've just seen a little glimpse of this. I haven't seen this yet, and I've just seen a glimpse, and this thing looks absolute. Look at that. Jesus. That's pretty massive inside. I love the use of them glass walls with the lightning and stuff as well. It looks really cool. I wish they'd bring them out in the Atomic Shop already, because I haven't got them on PC. I've got them on PlayStation, but not PC. The lighting, as always, Aqua looks absolutely phenomenal. This looks like it's been built in a bloody shell of the shape of it and stuff, but obviously it hasn't. It's that bit with the, the hole in the top of the cave. It looks really cool. I love the colour of it and stuff. I like the different levels of the floors and stuff as well. That looks really nice. I like them floating ceilings over there. You've got, like... like uh, not floating, but you know what I mean, with the hanging down, and then you've got like the shape. Looks really cool. I like the look of that. Um, but yeah, all around solid, solid build that. I really do like the look of that. Nice stairs going up there. I feel something died over there, never mind. Um, but it looks really good. There's another one of the videos as well where she does the full walkthrough tour. So if you ever want to get ideas how she decorates, or just enjoy watching them type of videos as you actually build. Aqua's got you covered over there. Looks really good though. As always, decorating absolutely on point. Uh, lighting looks fantastic as always as well. And yeah, just all around solid, solid build. Bit straight to the floor. Ah, oh, it's because it's little half floors and stuff, right? I get it. Nice. Okay, very nice, very nice. Let's have a look. The traditional, traditional setup there as well. I've watched that many Aqua builds now. I've come so familiar with the setup. So if you... Pay attention, Aqua has a kind of signature touch with bedrooms, if you notice, right? In the bedroom, she always has the bed, either side, two bedside cabinets, and she always tends to stick with a couple different lamps. It always tends to be similar ones. This one, weirdly though, I'm surprised at Aqua. Normally, you have the little bookshelf behind the actual bed, just there, and behind then you'll have some plushies and stuff on there, and then you'll have the bedsides either side. So a little bit different, still with the traditional lamp, so I do like that, so nice job, Aqua. Very, very nice. Look at that lighting. Looks fantastic. Very nicely done. Love the uh, the cave look on the left-hand side as well. A nice glow from the brain fungus as well. Very nice. All right, guys. Next on the list, we have a pretty, pretty insane build. This one is by Logan RTX, who is also an absolutely fantastic builder. Sadly, he doesn't get involved in the uh, top five showcase. Don't know why. Get yourself involved, Logan. How dare you? Um, but he has done in the past, and this one is a is a nuts build. Like, he does some crazy stuff. The structures of his builds, if you actually do follow him and subscribe to him and stuff, you will have seen a lot of his stuff. I actually like the look of that. It looks like a proper castle basement and stuff. Um, but this build is mad. Like, a lot of the different sculptures that you've done, and they look crazy. I haven't seen the full video uh, yet, but look at that. That looks awesome. That reminds me of, like, Skyrim type of thing. I really look, love the look of that. I don't know if you've took any inspiration from Skyrim, but that looks really, really cool. I like the kind of old castle kind of familiar... Familiarities between it. it looks really good. I like the use of them uh, cultist uh, ritual things as well. That looks really cool. Love this stacked uh, brick walls and columns there as well. That looks really nice. That's what I was talking about, them ritual things. That's a very interesting type of design. That now that looks really cool. What an entrance that is up to the actual mine shelter down the bottom there. That looks fantastic. I'm guessing it's going to take us into the shelter now, which I'm going to dodge. But that looks really, really good. I think that's the last build as well to show off this uh, 
video. I'm at 22, 23 minutes recording right now. Jesus, I have to cut that down a little bit. But very nicely done there, Logan RTX, as well as everyone else involved. I'm going to switch over to this camera. Uh, yeah, but thank you all for watching. I hope you all did enjoy that. Some pretty crazy builds. From now on, uh, I don't know. I think... <sighs> I think I might just do it. I might just change it, guys. Let me know if you disagree. I know there'll be some people upset, but I might just change it. In fact, no, I'm going to do it. I don't really care. Right, Fallout World Builds are now going to be involved in the Top 5 Showcase. The reason for this decision is because since ever starting the Top 5 camps, I've always wanted to show off the best, the most creative, the most exciting builds, and I feel like we're missing out if we don't show the Fallout Worlds. I know there's going to be the... The thing of people going, oh, well, you know, it's basically cheating, you can't glitch as much. Well, there's a way around that, ladies and gentlemen. There's a way around that, let me bloody tell you. I do a lovely score system today, as you can see here. I've had up the video notes there that I've got. This is a score system. In this score system, I've got the different stuff in there. Now, going forward, what we're going to do with the submissions is I'm going to ask you all to put... Fallout Worlds, uh, Max Budget, blah blah blah. You'll put like the different things so everyone knows if it was Fallout Worlds, if it was Adventure. Doesn't make a difference. Now, what the actual difference it will make, because I'm just backtracking now, um, is I'll give a different point system. So, if it was building ad Adventure, you'll get a few extra points, making it so even if like the Fallout Worlds, by like, giving a Fallout Worlds build a little bit of a disadvantage, if you know what I mean. So, gives you a bit like it doesn't matter like if you like technical wise i will give you more points if you built in an advan in an adventure world than what you i would if you built in a fallout world you still got to glitch stuff you still got to do certain things to merge to destroy stuff and merge them into each other turn off the snapping and what whatever else um but it's still hard to build it's still the imagination it's still the thoughts behind stuff which gets people them extra marks in the in the scoreboard ranking system whatever you want to call it um so it's gonna that's that's where it's gonna be for now we're gonna change it i'm not gonna blab around too much because it's all just been decided on the top of my head and i'll probably waffle so yeah that's how it's gonna be we're gonna change it fallout worlds are now gonna be in the top five camps and if you don't like it then please let me know on your honest opinions don't take it too seriously it's a bit of fun i just want to show off the most exciting stuff in the community for everyone to enjoy and stuff like that it's not realistically it's not a realistic thing to be for me to make a showcase each and every week, like three different showcases, one for shelters, one for top five camps, one for top five worlds camps. Like it just isn't a realistic thing. It takes a lot of time to build the top five, to go over all of the camp builds, to go over everything and then rank them in the order and stuff and then record it all, then edit it all. It's a long winded process and I only have a couple of days off a week and in them days off, I try uh, now have a day off for myself go out do things and also spend the rest of the two days just non-stop editing basically like i don't get very much time to myself like i've played fallout once so far this week and it's friday so i'm behind on everything on there with my dailies and everything like that and for being a bloody fallout youtuber you'd like to think i play the game a bit more than once in like four days so i do need to try and get on there but never mind right i'm gonna leave the video here hope you all enjoyed and yeah don't cry too much over the decision if it affects you that much you know it's a game we're gonna, all gonna have fun and the things there just to show off the cool builds in the community so build some cool stuff get involved that's how it is hope you all enjoyed hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you in the next one goodbye Big.